Assalamu alaikum dear parents, I hope you're all fine, happy, safe and healthy wherever you are. Welcome to session 4 of the 4th week. Today we have two things planned in the agenda. Number one is tracing from the tracing workbook of page number 24 and 26. And we also have a vocabulary of letter alif. So let's begin with the tracing first from page number 24. Okay, first thing first, write down the date and write down classwork here. And what do we have here? We've got butterflies, we've got flowers, and these plants. So, uh, with the coloring, with the butterfly, they can choose any color they want to fill it up. With the butterfly, they can choose any color, but remember again, uh, they have to use small strokes and they have to use different colors butterflies and same uh, is with the flowers uh, they can fill the circle with one color tell them that this is a circle they must fill it up with one color and the petals with a different color same with all of the flowers and this part must be green as you all know that plants are green so they should have this idea and they must know that we must fill it up with the green color it's very easy small nice small strokes nice and easy and they can choose any color here. I'd like to fill it up with, with uh, yellow, the middle part with yellow. And the petals, let's think about it. And we can fill up the petals with purple. Oh, that would be too dark. We can go with pink. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Make sure not to go out of the area and also make sure to color within the area. And don't leave any blank spaces here. Like that. So that's it with page number 24. Let's move to page number 26. Snow. Uh, here we have, um, this is snow and this is a snowman. Um, you can show them a picture of snow to give them a better idea. And also of a snowman, if they have watched Frozen, they will have a better idea of this. I hope they know this, uh, who this snowman is. So what do they have to do is they'll have to trace them down. Um, trace them with a lead pencil or colors as if you want to. Uh, nice and easy, nice and slow. Uh, and once they are done with tracing, they'll have to color them. Although uh, snow is white and snow wine, the snowman is also white, um, you can make them, um, make them fill it up if they want to with different colors because they will feel happy they'll have to color these and with the snowman they can leave this white and color this hat and this uh, muffler in a red color or any color which they like so that's it with the tracing uh, let us move toward the vocabulary of the letter alif so before you start the vocabulary we have to revise and reinforce what this is as usual i told you to hold out two fingers put your left hand here and raise it out Alif A. What is this? Alif A. Alif A. And now for the vocabulary, I will show you. Okay, so these are the pictures that I've got. Alif A, Allah. Alif A, Anda. Alif A, Anar. Alif A, Angur. Alif A, Ek. So we have to give them the concept of counting in Urdu as well. They should know the counting in Urdu as well. Uh, when they're when you're teaching them this, um, Alif A, so we have, I've told you, we have a rhyme for that. Alif A, Anar, Baramazdar. And we sing it like that. Alif A, Anar, Baramazdar. Bepa Bandar, Bhag Jau, Andar. So you, for now, you'll just have to teach them for Alif 
uh, when you're telling them about these things uh, do teach them in english as well and do also tell them uh, where these things are found or what is uh, what is it about these things for example it's a fruit this is food and egg is a food also these are fruit number one Sh show them how we count like show them a thing which is like one in front of you for example this is uh, an ipad one one lamp i have my lamp here so one lamp uh, that is how you will give them the concept of one uh, and grapes we eat grapes they are sweet and sour uh, give them the idea of these things and I hope this vocabulary is easy for you um, <clears throat> you can uh, add more words to them uh, to the vocabulary as long as you are but whatever you see just please try to uh, make sense of it or try to increase their vocabulary by telling them oh this is what is this uh, uh, for, for only for the vocabulary only for the words we have done for example we have done alif so if you see anything that starts with alif for example achar so tell them alif achar and when we will do more words more letters like beba billy beba bandar so anything new you see that starts with beba even if their name starts with alif so teach them that or with ba uh, this is how uh, you will help them um, learn about things quickly and know their names by saying it uh, that's it for today. I hope it's easy for you. I will see you in the next session, inshallah. Take care of yourselves and Allah Hafiz.